What's going on everybody? My name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on the numerical Python package available in Python, namely NumPy. So in this video, we will see some of the spe how to create some of the special arrays that are available in Python. In the earlier two videos, we saw the installation and uh, if you create an array, what are the properties it has. Now, let's ex it's, in this video is going to be an extension of that wherein we'll see some of the commands that are available in NumPy to create uh, the some special arrays of our choice. Alright, so let's get started. First, let's talk about zero arrays. Sometimes for your work, you might require arrays which are filled with zeros of statics of some um, predefined size. To create that, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is just use this np.zeros function, np .zeros function and then create your arrays. The only input, the only mandatory uh, input it takes is that you need to specify a list or a tuple containing the shape of the array and that's it. And uh, afterwards, afterwards, the other ones are optional, like the data type. If you want it to be an integer, let's say, in 64, let's say, you just have to type the data type and that's it and press enter. Looks like nothing happened, but if you type Z, there you go. You have, you have an array with uh, with all zeros, all zeros filled in it, with five rows and three columns. Cool. Next. Uh, next, what we can, next wheel. There is a command for once, as in there's an array to create once. So all you have to do is just instead of zeros, just type ones in it. And there you go, and that will that's all it requires. So let me put this as float 64 for a change. Okay, float 32 for a change because we haven't used it so far. And press enter, and there you go. Now all the uh, entries in this array are filled with one, so it's five rows and three columns, and you get a data type of float 32. Cool. And now for some times, for some computations of yours, you might require empty arrays as in. You just want to create an array and fill it with some junk data. I mean, just want to initialize an array, but afterwards you not even initialize, just create an array and don't assign any values. And then during a calculation, you want the values to be filled by do, doing either by calculation or by assignment. In those cases, you might need an empty array for, like this. So the uh, syntax notation is similar to zeros and ones. Just create empty dot numpy dot empty and then pass in a tuple or a list containing the size of the array and press enter and that's it if you look at the array look at the array this will be filled with ones if you put float 32 in it by default uh, this is something surprising i notice if you put float 32 in it it will be filled with ones on the other hand on the other hand let's say i keep this as e1 and instead i put this as float 64 float 64 press enter and there you go. When I put float 64 or higher floats, let's say, they're all filled with, uh, garba with garbage values or junk values like this. And now I can we use this for more uh, work. Now, this particular one, I which uh, particular one was pretty surprising because I did not anticipate why it is. Well, if you figure out why this turned out to be like this, let me know. That will be pretty interesting. Uh, anyway, I would like to I'll, afterwards I'll go and search on Wikipedia as well. But hey, if you find out, put it on the comments so that other people can also get to know what's happening. Cool. Now let me clear this. Now we saw zeros, ones, and empty. What if we want to create an array with just the indices in it? So, so let me so let me name this array called as ind and let me put this as np dot indices and and it uh, as usual it takes tuple it takes tuples it takes a tuple with the size so I'm going to give it five comma three and there you go and you press indices and there you go it will generate me uh, to arrays with the indices so what it does is that it takes um, it uh, it gives me in the first part in the first, it, it's actually a list of two di two two dimensional arrays because it's a, the the indices I've mentioned here is actually for a two dimensional array so it returns me. Uh, three dimensional array with two two dimensional arrays kept inside. So the first one is actually the indices are the, uh, the indices for the uh, uh, x rows. Okay, so uh, this is the first row. So all the uh, I mean the indices for each and every element based on the row, and these are the indices for each and every element based on the column. So for the first element, the first element is actually is, is placed in row zero, column zero. That's how you read it. The second element in the row is actually is placed in row zero, column one, like that. So this one is actually the x indices or the row indices for the um, matrix. 
uh, I mean, all right. Whereas the second one is actually the column indices. All right. So let's say if I had to put something like five comma three comma two, let's say, it's going to give me a four dimensional array, like this, like this. So this is the actual. This is actually the. How do I? How do I? Put, how do I even read this? Uh, five three two. So this is actually this is actually the uh, fifth in the fifth level something fifth row zero throw zero uh, zero throw uh, I think I guess <laughs> this is the zero th uh, this is the row indices these are the column indices these are the level indices so to speak cool <sighs> this might be useful in certain cases I thought I'll just mention this because this sounds fun. Let's say you want to create, uh, let's say, an identity matrix. Let's say, ident as identity matrix. There are two functions for it. One of them is based on the similar to the MATLAB MATLAB function called as i. And what it does is it just type, uh, it just type i and then press uh, va give a value in it, specifying the number of rows and columns. So since this is a square matrix, just specify no one number and that's enough for you. And press enter. Uh, and you have your identity matrix ready all right and of course it of course it also accepts the data type in it so if you just type uh, uh, d type in it d type np dot uh, instead of floor 64 let me put in in 64 let's say and press enter item one works there you go it's all an integer likewise there is also a, the, there's other function available that's actually I guess a new later addition call as identity identity and press enter now I don't I don't do to press it out and there you go this is the, your identity mat identity matrix cool so this way uh, there are two methods to create identity matrices now let me clear this up and then uh, let's talk about random mat random numbers let's say you want to create a matrix with just for the random numbers let's say there is a function available called as random okay okay and inside that there are few other op many possible options available for instance you can draw generate random numbers like a bench using beta function using binomial po possibilities byte or chi square choice like that there are several options available like even um, random numbers based on geometry distribution or gamma distribution and all that itself is a separate video on its own so we'll uh, we'll not go in much in de detail about this in this video we'll just go with uh, random numbers let's say we just type random dot random okay it will gen and then it has to take two in it has to take a top a list input or a tuple input for the size so if i give something like uh, three rows and five columns let's say and press enter there you go this will generate me a random a past uh, th this command will generate me a, ra a matrix of, of three rows and five columns filled with random numbers between zero and one positive zero I mean the z po uh, positive random numbers between zero and one likewise just by looking at the example over here like if you look at the example over here you can create a uh, multiple different types of random numbers for instance uh, you okay let's for instance uniform uniform random numbers and there are multiple options available in it so I'm going to say let's say uniform between uh, uh, let's pass in a value like say three comma five and then it has to be uniform between um, minus fi minus five and five hopefully this should work no I thought so um, okay hold on I'll be back okay I checked it I, I think I um, gave the order gave them in the wrong order what it needs is that it needs uh, random dot uniform and then you have to specify the low value first so let, let me specify the low value to be minus 5 and the high value to be 5 and then you specify the size so 3 comma 5 and press enter and now if you type z and there you go now this ma random matrix contains random numbers uniformly distributed between minus 5 and plus 5 so there you go these are some examples of some special matrices that you can matrices or arrays that you can create using numpy that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time in another interesting video till then take care